what? What is this? What the heck is this? Bait Sanity Hatch Match Part 2 Explorer Series? What? Okay, good. Oh. Oh my gosh! It's a whale! Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Alright, before we kick this off, I gotta tell you guys, thank you so much. We hit 2,000 subs on the channel. I, I, I cannot... I cannot thank you guys enough. I would not be here without your support, and it means the world to me. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I was trying to figure out what I should give away. Because, I mean, I got to. I got to give back. It's another giveaway. It's another unboxing. I know, but I was not expecting to hit 2,000 this fast. And I'm going to keep doing these giveaways. Because, again, I want to give back, and I got... I can't say it enough. I, I've already said that, which, you know, it's kind of redundant that I can't say it enough, but I keep saying I can't say it enough, so I keep saying it. Thank you. So, it's not the best giveaway, but it could be great for somebody. I've got two reels here. Two reels that I threw one time each. Still got line on this one, stripped the line off of this one. They're Cast King Spartacus. They're not fancy. They are great reels. I had no issues with them. I just upgraded. So, I hope I hope nobody gives me, you know, a thumbs down because I'm giving away a used reel or, you know, a budget-friendly reel. I just hope that somebody that gets this can actually use these reels. So, it's the Cast King Spartacus. These are a 6-3 to 1 gear ratio. Both of them. Yep. 6-3. Six, 6-3 three, six, three to 1. You got the red and black with the core candle, external braking system, magnetic braking system, side wing does not stay attached. I'm not trying to talk it down, I just want to give you guys the, uh, the breakdown of it. So, five button, magnetic, disc, and then internal centrifugal braking system. So it is a dual braking system, they're great reels. John has one, I believe he still throws his. Or it's at the bottom of the lake. I think it's at the bottom of the lake. Sorry, John. So, I'm giving away these two reels. Again, I gotta give back. And I gotta give thanks. So, I figure why not give away these two Cast King Spartacus reels. Black, red, core candle, silver, black, EVA handle. I'm giving them away. So, you guys know the deal. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment. I'll do another random comment generator giveaway. That's how I'm going to do it. So thank you again. But enough of the sappiness. Let's get into the good stuff. Let's open up Tackle Warehouse Unboxing. I did so good. I said I wasn't going to order any more for January, but I did. I can't remember what I got. It was some little stuff. I fell off the wagon. But I'm back on the wagon of ordering. So I fell off again. Is that right? I don't know. February, unboxing. Let's get it underway. First things first. I don't know if I showed you guys these. I've got some behind me. Actually, no, that's one of the things that I got. I'm going to show it to you anyways. I got the baby rage bug. The little Ned bug. Let me get this box out of the way. Ned bug. Okay. Black and blue. Let's pull, pull this out here. Black and blue swirl. So, you guys know I love my rage bugs. So, I've got springtime, summertime coming up. And I got little ideas to do with these guys right here. I got some ideas for that little baby rage bug. Look at that. So freaking cute. Love it. <laughs> Next one, I think, yeah. Or I got this from a local tackle shop. But I had to show you guys because, you know, I got some of the rage cutters a while back. And I plan on using those as speed worms, you know, in the summertime and springtime. That's what this unboxing is about. It's about gearing up for spring. Kind of. Might have a little uh, little something something up my sleeve for this weekend, as in tomorrow. As in the fishing video that will go out probably in a week or so. But I got some baby rage cutters. Look at that. What color is this one? 
Morning Dawn. Morning Dawn Rage Cutter. So, again, I got some ideas for uh, spawn in summertime with these. I'm going to keep it a secret. I'm going to keep you guys waiting on that one. So, I've had those sitting there, but I had to order some more of the, uh, the Baby Rage Bugs. I got that black and blue swirl. So, that's the first thing right there. Next. You know I had to do it. You know I had to do it. Which is funny because I didn't realize that John was going to give me a pack of these, so I ordered another pack. So now, I'm back two packs because somehow I misplaced one and a half packs. I still think John stole them. I wouldn't put it past him. It was probably his conscience that got to him, and that's why he gave me another one. But we've got the Falcon Lake Craw Rage Bug, which my buddy uh, Trey, a casual fisherman, he actually just made a, uh, an order and picked some of these up too. So I'm pretty pumped for him to use those, and hopefully he has some good success with them as well. But you guys have seen it before, Falcon Rage Craw, or Falcon Lake Craw, Rage Bug, you know what I'm saying. But actually, I don't know, there might be some new people on here, but that's it right there. Red, green pumpkin, beautiful, beautiful bait. Love that Rage Bug. So I got a pack of the, uh, the Magnums. You know, I like them big. You know what I'm saying? I like that Magnum. I need that Magnum. That's what I need in my life. Not in my life. I, I just need the Magnum. Because they last longer. You know, it's just, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. They have more longevity. No. They take more of a beating. No, that still doesn't sound right. They just, they hold up better. <laughs> that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> I got another pack of the Magnum Rage Bugs, but a new color. A color that I had not gotten before, that I have not tested before, that I'm actually pretty excited about. And I'm having a hard time always opening these plastic bags. I'm curious, do you guys keep them in the clamshell? Or do you take them out and just put them in the bag loose? I'm thinking about taking them out of the clamshell and putting them in the bag loose. Because that's a pain in my OCD butt. This is the Blue Craw Red Flake. Blue Craw Red Flake Magnum Rage Bug. Got some really good blue swirl in there and a little bit of red flake. Obviously, that's why they said red flake. But that right there, especially for those blue craws when they start coming out. Heck yeah. Love that bait. Love swimming that. And it's about time to start traditional Texas rig fishing. Slowing it down, flipping onto the beds. It'll be brand new to me. I missed the spawn last year. So, pretty freaking excited about that. Now, some new stuff. That's right. I'm branching out. And come at me. I don't even care. I don't even care. But I wanted to try them out. I got the Six Sense Stroker Craw. Little baby craw. 3.3 inch craw. But the color that I got, Worm Juice. Now I got Worm Juice because it reminded me a lot of the Falcon Lake Craw from Strike King. So, Little stroker craw here. Oh man, these are all messed up. Now my OCD is going to go crazy. Now I got to try and fix them, but I don't need to fix them right now because I'm doing a video. But, little stroker craw. I'm curious to see. I've seen some action on these in the videos, but I'm very curious to see how, they, how well they work. But you got some red and green pumpkin in there. So again, it reminded me a lot of the Falcon Lake craw. And that's why I wanted to get these because I've had such good luck on that color. That's the one I wanted to try out. So, six cent stroker craw. These guys are extremely, extremely cost effective. I'm talking like they're $4.99 for an eight pack? Yeah, for an eight pack. So again, gearing up for the spawn, gearing up for spring, gearing up for summer. I wanted to get some stuff that I can kind of slow back down, fish traditional style. And of course, I'm going to try and flip them and swim them like I do with the Rage Bug. But an 8-pack for 5 bucks, I'll take that. Now, I know they're a lot smaller. I'm going to be curious to see the longevity on them, but I had to give them a shot. They've intrigued me for a long time. I've had a lot of guys reach out to me and ask me about them. So I wanted to pick them up and give you guys my feedback. All right, sticking with 6 cents, I got the Clout Worm. I actually got two packs of clout worms, two different colors. This one's the Gill Dust. 
Now the gill dust looks really, really good. It's green pumpkin, got some purple flake in there, some orange flake in there, gill dust in the clout worm. Now again, talk about cost effectiveness. Now I'm curious to see how these hold up, but $5.99 for a 10 pack, 10 of these guys. There are some other stick baits out there that you don't get that many for that inexpensive of a price. So I wanted to give them a shot. I want to see how they work. Again, gearing up summer, springtime fishing, wacky rigging these guys. Texas rig maybe, but most likely a wacky rig for me. So that's the gill dust right there. The other one that I got is a color that I know works really well. Actually, it's kind of like two colors. It smells like Team Spirit, if you know what I'm saying. But I got the Nirvana color in these. Now, Nirvana is like a green pumpkin and blue. Blue flake. I mean, two-tone. Great looking color. Great looking stick bait. I like the, I mean, I like the texture to them. It's a different design on a stick bait. Again, very curious to see how they work out. But I got the Nirvana. Green pumpkin. Blue. Almost a black. Black and blue flake up top. Now again, sticking with six cents. My buddy, uh, old North Fork Fishing, he picked a couple of these up, and I've been very curious about them as well. And this is the new hybrid swim crank. Now I got the what, two to three foot? Two to three foot divers. Don't like, I mean, if I'm getting a wake bait, a zero to one foot, I'm gonna get an actual wake bait. So if these do well, I might pick some of those up. But this one right here is the Shad Burst. Shad burst in the hybrid swim crank. Circuit board lip on there. Very shallow diver, like I said, two to three foot. You got some good green on there. Some iridescent, you know, um, yeah, iridescent's the right color. Stripe on there. Great pattern. You got three ball bearings in there. Nice little rattle to it. But very curious to see how that joint works right there. Feathered rear treble for a little bit of extra flash, get them to entice on that rear, on that tail bite right there. So, I got the Shad Burst in that one, and then the other one that I got, let me try and put this back in the box here without hooking myself or screwing it up, you know, because, like I've told you, OCD. It's a great, great way to live. The other one that I got is the 4K Shad. 4K Shad is beautiful. This is a color scheme. I've got the chrome thread fin. I've had really good luck on the chrome thread fin and a lot of the ponds down here, a lot of the lakes down here. But the 4K Shad, you got blue, you got gold, you got a little bit of purple pink up there, iridescent color, pearl white, great looking base. I love Six Sense and I love their colors. I think they knock it out of the park with every color that they do. They, I mean, like the clout worm has got like 20 different colors, something like that. I don't know. They got a whole bunch. Now, next thing that I got, this is it for this box. This box, because I have another one. I just got some more of the uh, Divine Jig Heads, little screw lock jig heads. I wanted to have some that I can use for standalone swim baits, and I wanted to get some because I need to uh, change out a couple of the jig heads on the A-Rig, especially for next weekend. I'm not going to pull these out. But I got the Shad in the Divine Jig Heads. Screw lock, 1 8 ounce. I just, I love that lightweight. I love that lightweight. 1 8 ounce, especially on an A-Rig. The lighter the weight, the better you can just crawl it. Crawl it along. It'll stay in the water column a lot longer. You don't have to worry about it dropping super fast. Especially for those finicky fish. The longer you keep that in front of their face, the more chance you're going to have that they're going to bite. Now... You guys saw in the thumbnail, and I probably put it in the title. I haven't made the title yet, but I probably put it in the title. If I didn't put it in the title, I'm going to leave you hanging. I'm going to show you something here. Kidding, I'm not going to leave you hanging. Been getting into swim baits. Been getting into big swim baits. So, I decided to go out. Against some other, some guy's advice, I decided to go with it. I got the Bait Sanity Antidote Glide, and I got it in the Slow Sync. Now I looked it up, and the Super Slow Sync, Super Slow Sync might as well be a subsurface kind of bait. It takes a long time to sink. 
I wanted something that was going to get down just a little bit faster. And from what I saw, I mean, you're probably talking like two to three seconds for a foot of fall. So that rate of fall is plenty good for me. I like being able to do that because I can count it off when I know the water depth. But I got shad in this color, and I have not even unpackaged it yet. So that's what I'm doing right now. You got little ties in there. Cool packaging. I like the little cylinder that they do there. Now, one thing, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta give a shout out to uh, Steve, Steve the pirate, the OK fisherman for this. He said, "I hate how it's from IKEA because you have to assemble it," <laughs> and he's right. So this is it. It is a seven-inch, two and a half ounce bait. I believe it's two and a half ounces. It's not super heavy. Two point seven ounces. Seven inch glide bait, but as you can see, the hooks, you have to put the hooks on there. So great, super sharp, sticky hooks. You gotta put them on there. It's got a nice soft tail. Not, I mean, it's very substantial because this tail is not meant to be replaced. It's not, not a lot of action to it, but the action that I've seen on these have a really good, nice wide S motion. You can twitch it and get that 180 degree turn on them. But I got the shad. It's got realistic 3D. Can you hear that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You like that scratch? You like some back scratches? I hope you get tons of back scratches from the hooks. From fish. From a big fish. That's what I hope you get. Great color scheme on here. 3D printed scales. Add some texture to it. Very nice wide kick on this glide bay right here. So bait sanity antidote this is a very cost effective glide bait too in the grand scheme of things very cost effective especially when you're talking about the action these guys give but 25 bucks 25 bucks for the antidote from bait sanity don't hook yourself they do come with little plastic things that keep you from hooking yourself except that one's kind of out there i just hooked myself so long shank hooks Pretty pumped, except having to put it together. Like he said, it's from Ikea. But great glide bait. Very pumped. Throwing it this weekend. Maiden voyage. By the time you're watching this, I've probably already thrown it. Hopefully I've caught a fish and not snagged it and lost it. I probably won't lose it because I'm throwing it on that P-Line CXX. 25 pound. That's the line to go with right there. What? What is this? What the heck? is this bait sanity hatch match part two explorer series what i know i'm dumb i'm dumb but this guy right here is a replaceable boot tail look at that super soft replaceable boot tail for the next bait that i'm about to show you Super soft. Look at that. Oh, that action. Oh, man. I cannot wait to throw that on. This right here is going to the next bait that I'm showing to you. A lot of you guys know already by now. I've shown some pictures. I've told some people about it because I'm super excited about it. It is now my most expensive bait. And the packaging they do on this guy is sick. Look at this. Bait Sanity Explorer. Nine inch glide bait. This right here, almost six ounces. It is, oh, it's five ounces. So it's not almost six. If you're rounding up, it'd be ten. But five ounces. Nine and a half inch glide bait. <sighs> Again. The packaging they do. Look at this thing. You're probably getting a whole lot of shine from the light on it. Here it is. In all of its glory, the Bait Sanity Explorer 2.0. Shad Pattern 2.0. Sharp hooks. Heavy, heavy hooks. Heavy duty hooks. Now, great action just like the Antidote. A lot heavier. Gonna sink faster. Look at the tail on this. The tail is replaceable, okay? Soft tail, and it actually comes with a replacement tail as well. It's down here in the bottom. How do I get to it? It's 
down there in the bottom. But how, how in the world I make it? Do, I mean, do they want you to have the? Do they want you to get to it or not? I'm confused. Oh, <laughs> right there. Comes with a replacement tail, so that tail gets dinged up, banged up enough, which you hope it does. You can put that on there. But that's why I got this guy. So I'm going to slap that on there for a whole different kind of action. You have the glide, but then you got the tail thump of like a regular boot tail swim bait as well. So the Bait Sanity Explorer 2.0 Shad. And you guys will see why I got this big old freaking bait. I'm putting a video out on Sunday morning for you guys. Show you the brand new series that I'm coming out with. If you guys like the series, this thing is massive. Just now pulling it out. That thing is gigantic. New series that I'm trying out. I'm going to see if you guys like it or not. But there's a reason that I got this gigantic shad. And you'll see why. But So they make replacement tails. And they make a few different patterns now. They've got trout. They've got carp. They've got bread. They've got... Um, Oh, what other colors do they have? Perch. They make different tails as well. They've got um, survivor trout. So the survivor trout is for the rainbow trout tail, but it's got blood splatter on the tail. Does that make a difference to a fish? I don't know. Does it make a difference to us anglers because it looks better? Absolutely. Let's not kid ourselves. So that is it, guys. And I cannot say it enough. Freaking Jack freaking pumped i am excited to throw these baits brand new going after that double digit going after the big ones that's what we want they also make replacement fins these fins right here are very soft so they do make replacement fins for those as well which is very nice but now i'm going to try and put this back in the package to where it's nice and neat because i'm going to keep it in there for as long as possible which means just until tomorrow when I go fishing and I go throw it for the very first time. <sighs> Unboxing is done. Thank you again, guys. 2,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. 2,000 subscribers. Hadn't even been a year yet, and we're already here. So, again, I'm giving away these two reels right here. Leave a comment. Hit the, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Smash that thumbs up. That's what you're into. I'm picking two winners. Most likely I'll find something else to give away to the third winner. You guys know how I do. I just love giving back. Uh, again, wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. Again, I'll see you next time we're on the water. Tomorrow morning. I'll be on the water tomorrow morning in a video that I recorded a few times back. I don't know. If you want to watch something else from me, check this one out or this one, whatever you want. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.